Ni hao, and welcome back to Jade Empire. When we last left off, well, we talked to Kang for the last, well, last time, and went on a little trip. Hmm. Yes, yes, what can I do for you? Busy, busy, no time for chatty chatty. Okay. Um, well, let's talk about you and what your wind map revealed. I've given some thought to the strange device that I was inspired to construct. I'm not sure what purpose it has yet, but it appears to be working, I think. Oh. Ah, just a few tweaks. Hmm, tight fit. Not sure how that will affect things. Yeah, what's it? Hmm, I don't remember seeing that before. Oh. Uh, just get this last. There we go. It's ready. Now we can finally find out just what it does. After I name it, of course. Nothing works right until you name it. How about the confoundable minutia? That sounds good. I'm sure it'll help. Start it up. What? No, impossible. I, I fixed it. I checked everything. It should work. Unless, unless, no, I did that. Oh. Oh. oh, where'd the city go? We died. Well, that was anticlimactic. A flash of light, but no resounding boom. What good is such a light if Earth doesn't meet sky? <laughs> uh, where are we? What? Oh my. It seems we have transported to a, a heaven. A strangely familiar one for some reason, but I don't recall ever moving to such a place before. Oh? I like this mode of travel even less than your flying bug-eyed barrel. Besides, any heaven worth visiting should have us knee-deep and wide. Top down. I suppose so. Um, so you don't know where we are. This place is completely unknown to me, or is it? I am compelled to to take the steps this way. There are gears here that I remember. Huh. Bah, waste of time. Call me if one of these big buckets turns out to be a distillery. Right. Well, let's go exploring. Water wheel. I'm sure that'll help something. Can't turn that off. Hmm. Clapper chimney. <laughs> Smoky. Turn that off, although... Okay. I was about to say, did that turn off the water wheel? Ooh, her. Ah, another cow bezoar. The configuration of the office. Interesting. So you're standing right over there. And we've already dealt with all of these. Cranking cauldron. Hmm. Look at this. It's a marvel. A wonder of monumental proportions. A phenomenal piece of unbelievable craftsmanship. Oh? Uh, what does it do? I haven't the slightest idea. But it must be important, wouldn't you think? I mean, just look at it. 
I mean, I guess. These machines, they are manipulators, fabricators. They bully energy into, into something. They can be activated, deactivated, on and off, off and on. You, you see? I guess. What is it? I, I can only come to one conclusion. Oh. Lord Lau's furnace. Okay. It what? I know that name. Constructed a wine press for the celestial whatevers that crushed elephant loads of grapes. And the odd elephant. <laughs> Legendary, mythical, and overrated in some respects. But if anyone else has a better origin for such machines as this, I'm not hearing it. Okay, but who's Lord Lau? Artificer to the celestial bureaucracy, he creates machines that themselves also create. Although uh -oh. I'd make them a little less delicate had I his resources. It's the beginning of the great Still, deal. he is an inspirational figure for inventors, and we are in his playhouse. You select the machines you want to activate, and then the tiger or the dragon button, like this. Uh huh. Um. Please don't randomly hit switches, I find it unsettling. You also have to oh. select a fuel. It looks like there are a few pieces of cinnabar in the contraption, but it may accept others as well. Uh, do you think it's wise to play with it? Well, judging by the pile of ashes I found near the controls, if you do it wrong, it either creates a nice warm fire, or burns the person standing here to a crisp. Right. It looks like a powerful thing, so just guessing at the possible configurations will probably get you into trouble and waste the cinnabar in the machine. Mm-hmm. So, you might want to be careful how you go about it. Things like this usually have directions. Uh, no, recipes. No, that's not it. Um, uh, configurations. That's it. Ah. Uh -huh. Didn't we find a say, strange set of directions? Very true. Perhaps you should give them a try. They didn't mean much before, but now we may have the tools to make something of them. Yeah. In fact, we've got uh, a fair set of these configurations. Um, all but the cogs are watching, waiting and active, waiting for the tiger to feed. Configuration of the dragon, configuration of the snake, configuration of the tiger, and configuration of the ox. And the best way for me to figure all these out is to uh, go and look them up. Let's see. Da, 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 da. One second while I look this up. Okay, I think I figured out how to use this thing. First off, we uh, use the reset console to um, turn off everything that we turned on. Ooh, book stand. Celestial Order, Volume 3. Celestial Barak is made up of all servants of the great dragon left behind to administer creation. In accordance with the priests and augurs, they know nothing of their creator of what or, or where it has gone. The great dragon has descended heaven, they say. They, in their faithfulness, remain behind. Or so they say. Over the millennia, many have fallen from their duties and have become part of the chaos of the world. This, we can only suppose, is part of the creation as well. But as representative of order, humanity suffers the most from the attention of these chaotic spirits and demons. So that is the fuel hopper. But let's see here. Fuel hopper contains some Cinnabon ore, but they're separate section. These configuration need likely need specialized fuels to make them effective. Okay, let's load a new fuel into the um, 
uh, hopper. Remember to your pack looking for some machine might use this fuel. No, uh, Cowbuzor. How Lord Lab managed to predict the shape of a stone formed in a cow's gullet, you never really know, but a small round, small round cup in the fuel hopper holds the Bezor securely. Okay. So let's see here. The Clapper Chimney. And the water wheel. And then we push the tiger button. Oh, no. Doctor Rolling Cogs. Oh, there that is. Okay. Let's go and reset everything. Book, get the experience. Cauldron. Back. That's fancy. Conductor, chimney, cauldron, and the water wheel. And did I remember to turn on the... yep. Fuel. Receive Song of Spirit. You lost configuration of the horse. Excellent! What an amazing machine! Now, if we can find more configurations, just imagine what we could do here. Yeah. Now I want to try that again. That same one? But why not try something different? It's up to you, of course. Well, they only work once, unfortunately. But, let's see, we, uh, hmm. A most intriguing place. Yeah. And where can I find configuration? Well, given the rather fantastic nature of the furnace, I would bet that whoever has them doesn't really know what they are for. More than likely. You found one previously in an unrelated endeavor. I'm afraid that is just the kind of continued uncertainty we will have to deal with. Keep your eyes open. Okay. Uh, bye. All right, all right. Have a look around, or whatever it is you do. Come and find me when you want to go back. Okay. Let's see here. 
Reset everything. Let's do fuel. Okay, let's try some iron. Carefully alloyed iron rests usually in small indentation at the bottom of the fuel hopper. If it is too close to be mere coincidence. Okay. So, put in iron. And let's see what I have available. Dragon. That requires sulfurous water. Snake. Uh, nickeled iron. Okay. So, yeah, we can do the snake. So, I am going to want the chimney. The conductor. Luckily, that only happens once. The cauldron. Iron, chimney, conductor, cauldron, and tiger. Okay. Tom is the morning breeze. Configuration. Okay. Anything else I can do? Configuration of the tiger. Nickeled iron, I can do that, certainly. So. Back. Reset. Oh, I've only got one iron on me. Okay. Um, I guess I'll need to go get more. Let's see, what else can I do with Bezor? Um, rabbit. Do I have the rabbit? Nope, of the ox. Uh, that's sulfurous water. Okay, so I've got really nothing else I can do here right now until I grab some more iron. A most intriguing place. Yep. I'm ready to leave. Okay. I wonder if I've got my attack on turbo on accident. Um, but yeah, let's see. Can probably show. Yep, spirit plus five and mind plus five. So those are definitely useful for me. Yeah, mind is at seventy three doing okay with that um, so would you like to hear about the mission I have for you um let's see your yep. upgrades I'll take that iron you know what yeah yes uh, Lord yes. Lyle's furnace take me back certainly Okay. Let's see here. It was what, the tiger that? Um, 
you were looking for? Yeah, bar of nickel iron. Turned off. Fuel, iron. The whirling cogs. Oh, this is a new one. And the dragon. Quieted mind. There's just something about this place. I can almost feel it. It's on the tip of my brain. And then it's gone. I just oh. wish something would help prod my memory. Hmm. Uh. Kang, something just appeared behind you. Huh? What? Well, now. What have we here? Hmm. Well, isn't that just a golden carp full of luck? Let's see here. That's nice. It's it's a wind map. Very sloppy ink, like it was crafted in a hurry, but I can decipher it. It would seem that someone wants to reward proper use of the furnace. Well, that's nice. And where does it lead? Through some wind, like any other of its kind. Really, I think you'd have grasped the concept by... Oh, you mean specifically? Yeah. Like the previous map, there is really only one way to know for certain where it leads, and that is to get in the flyer and go there. All right. We will have to leave the furnace before we can fly out, however. A little matter of needing the flyer. Just tell me when you want to leave. Right. Well, I guess I'm ready to leave this place. If we make it back to the real world, speak with me again and we can head off on that little wind map adventure. Did I say, if we make it back? Ha! Yes, yes, I did. <laughs> but, looks like we've uncovered more stuff on Kang's backstory. But that'll be for next time. When we come back, more Jade Empire. Have a good one, folks.